back with another video and in today's video we have an asus mini laptop this one is an asus vr 1100ck and in this video i'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery for these models and if some people are like oh, can you replace the bios battery it's, yes there is two batteries a little tiny bios battery and there's a yeah, main battery if yours is not holding up any more charge you just simply want to replace it or remove it you can use it without the battery it's still fine i'm gonna cover that in this video all right by replacing the battery you're not gonna change any files or anything like that you're not gonna lose any data so it's absolutely fine and safe all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely once the power is off you want to grab yourself on a screwdriver set I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set and from this tool set we're going to be using a Philips number zero or number one let's go with number one if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not grab yourself a guitar pick a thick or a firm hard guitar pick a metallic one that really soft edges and it will prevent to scratch the plastic all right so I'm going to grab a little workshop towel so I don't want to scratch it or anything like that. And we're going to put it right on the table. We're going to flip it upside down. Now down here we're going to see a few screws here. This, all the screws on the bottom covers, they have a little C-lock. And what does the C-lock? It does, it prevents the screw coming out entirely. So it just have to rotate and rotate until it just loosen up. So once you feel it's loosen up, just let it go. Just do this to all the screws. Just rotate until it just feels that it's loosened up. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own upgrade or prepay servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. all right now that we remove all the screws simply what you have to do right now so i'm gonna open it up sometimes when you open it it should turn on or sometimes it depends your bias configuration mine didn't turn on so yeah so what are we gonna do i'm gonna stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that okay and we're just gonna flip it like this and you're gonna hear this click so you want to do this all around in the front end do all the front end and do the same thing on the side so stick it right there and just rotate you want to hit those big clicks go all the way to the back corner do the left and the right side okay once you finish doing the front and the side all you need to do is to just grab the palm rest wiggle it around and it should release itself but you don't want to yank it up, you just want to bring it down just like this, flip it. And you want to see the flex cable for the keyboard and the flex cable for the trackpad. You don't want to disconnect these ones, there's no need. Just put the palm rest just like that in that position so it's not bothering you. Now the battery is right in here. To disconnect the battery, you just have to pull this jack backward towards yourself. The cables are really, really tough, so don't worry, you're not going to damage them or anything. Just pull it straight backward and you release the uh, batch, main battery. The BIOS battery is right over here, so you just have to untangle it. And to remove it, it has a little adhesive on the bottom. There you go. So there's a little adhesive. You can, I'll leave the link for this one in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Just tangle it. The BIOS battery should last you up to five, six years. And it's the same thing, you just push out, push back in. All right, to remove this main battery, you have to remove these few screws. So there's a screw, any screw that touches the battery, go ahead and remove them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Once you remove the 60 screws, just simply grab the battery and bring it up. So there's one, two, three cell batteries in here. And the information is right on the bottom of the battery instead of putting it on top. 11.55 volt, 42 watt hour. 
The model for this one is that V31 N915. All right. Let's say that you got the new battery in. All you need to do is to bring it down, set it down right here. Put the screw that you removed from the old battery. Once you put all the battery in, you want to grab the jack connector, put it straight right into the connector and just push it straight in and that's it. And just make sure the cable is right in the empty space in here, it's not over the battery. And that should be all. Next, all you need to do, grab the palm rest, bring it down slowly, gently, and put it on top and start squeezing it to get it with the bottom cover and you should hear the big flex. That's what you want to hear. So just pretty much squeeze, squeeze. Hold it from the other side. Make sure you hear those big, nice clack sounds. Once you have it done, the front end too. Same thing. Now all you need to do is to flip it over and tighten up the bottom screws. And that should be all for your battery upgrade. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do, click that like and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.